Today, Singapore is a vibrant cosmopolitan city. The skyscrapers dominating the skyline of the Marina Waterfront are a clear testament to Singapore's progressive and highly developed market-based economy. Singapore has thus far managed to balance the economic advancement with other crucial needs such as housing and recreation. However, with a projected increase of population to 6.5 million in years to come, would Singapore be able to continue juggling competing land needs effectively? Imagine after entering the leaf and pressing the basement one button, you end up with playgrounds, recreation activities and even hawker centres. This is a model of our proposal to improve leisure and recreation facilities in Singapore. Above the ground is a new HDB development. Below the HDB block would be an underground hub. This hub will contain all of the residents' leisure needs, including sports facilities, retail shops, hawker centres and playground. This would save precious land that Singapore cannot afford, and it would also be convenient for the residents to engage in leisure, as these facilities are just at their doorsteps. Idea, cause like, in one aspect, you can really conserve land, and um, and yeah, like, just conserve land by you know like just putting everything underground. But I think that like, if you put everything underground, it will really lose the authenticity of like some infrastructure. Like, if you put it underground, then like, for for cause of like, you have to put aircon and everything, and it will really lose the essence of. Like what a hawker centre really is, yeah. Okay, the thing about underground structures and all that, uh, I myself personally, I don't feel it's safe. Because like initially you might have uh, checks and all that, you know, you show up everything, it's like, a, it's structurally sound. But 10, 20 years down the road, you, you won't know what's happening. Well, I think one of the things that make the idea mostly is very attractive to the youth is the thought of convenience. Can you imagine like your favourite restaurant and your favourite shopping centre is just a doorstep away? That's why I think this idea will, will be very, very appealing towards the youth in Singapore. In short, we believe that our proposal would enable Singapore to develop into a seamless, integrated living environment to cater to a citizen's recreation needs while facilitating use of scarce land.